to be glad in it. Amen. Yeah. Oh, magnify the Lord with us. Come on. Make him big. Amen. Yeah. We're going to ask right now uh, Deacon Jarvis to come and pray this morning. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, right now in the name yeah. of Jesus. Father God, we give you praise, Lord, yes. for the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand, oh Father. You're so worthy to be praised, oh God. Yes. We give you praise in this place, oh God. We usher in your Holy Spirit. Yeah. Lord, to have true reign in this place, Father yes. God, in our hearts and in our lives, yes. oh Father. We ask that you bind the wicked one, O oh Lord. Father God, that your word will go forth in power, O oh God. Yes. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you said, for us to make a joyful noise unto you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Ah, help us, Father God, to let every weight that's so easy to set us, Father God, at your feet, at the doors, O oh God. Yes. You said, for us to enter your gates with thanksgiving yes. to your court with praise, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We're thankful unto you, O oh God. Yes. We give you praise in this place, Lord. Yes. We bless your name, Lord. Yes. Ah, uh, Father, we ask that you continue to cover those that are going through, Lord. Yeah. Ah, uh, Father, God, we ask that you restore the backslide, oh, Lord. Ah, uh, Father, continue to encourage that one that needs encouraging, Lord. Yes. And save that soul that's near as hell, oh, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, yes. God, we give you praise, Lord. Yes. We look for the man of the hour to you, Lord, the under shepherd of this tabernacle, yes. Father, God. Continue to bless him, Father, God. Anoint him on high for the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Help, yes. Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, God, everything that concerns and encourages his name, Lord, that you bless it, God. Bless, her, bless everyone in the side of my voice from the front to the back, oh Lord. Yeah. Continue to meet every spiritual need as well as the physical need, oh Father. Yeah. For that, God, we say, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We call anything like sin before you, Father God. We ask that you place it place under, place under the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. For that, God, we say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. all we see and do in this place. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our scripture this morning comes from Luke chapter 8, yeah. verses 43 through 45 this morning. Luke chapter 8, verses 43 through 45. And it reads, it says, And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, which has spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. Yeah. And immediately her issue of blood stenched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? I have read Luke chapter 8, verses 43 through 45. We don't have any first-time visitors this morning. I know it's real packed in here, so please stand and let's sing praises unto the Lord. We speak those things that are not as though they were. Amen. 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 We come to give God praise this morning. Amen. 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 Let's bless him, y'all. Yes. I just want to praise you forever.
I'm still talking about that woman with the issue of blood. I can't get away for it. We got a theme here about faith for the year. Our theme, our theme is fire and focus. Fire and focus. And I was all set to preach that fire and focus today, which is our theme for the year. My Faith World Ministries. We have some amazing themes. Our theme, uh, uh, God has given us uh, faith over opposition. Amen. Uh, we've had to be all that God has called us to be. Uh, what else? We, we, we press. Amen. We did the press. Application into manifestation. Application for manifestation. What is it, Lizzie? I have them all down. Yeah. Come on. In his presence. 2018 being inside out. Inside out. 
But y'all see that immediately? immediately. Her issue of blood was, was stanched. I did that immediately. Now, this is what we're going to be looking for. Watch this. Watch this. It's something about them 12 years that called that woman to have a level of faith to move God to immediate healing. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, right now. Right now. Yeah, come on, read. We're going to get it. And Jesus said, who touched me? Uh-huh. When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee, and sayest thou who touched me? Uh-huh. And, and so, so, so she's in, and the disciple Jesus says, somebody touched me. Now remember, in another portion of scripture, she said within herself, the Bible said, that this woman with the issue of blood 12 years, she said within herself, she said, this is her faith. She said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I ain't got no more money. I done went to and fro. I done trusted everybody. But if I could just get to Jesus, I know I'm unclean. I know I ain't nobody. I know where I come from. I know I done been to and fro. I know y'all used to me right now. Y'all ain't ready. Man, I want to preach. Matthew. I'm preaching. Matthew. Now, I'll come over with me. I'll preach this suit up by myself. Matthew gives that account. Matthew gives that account. What did Matthew say? Give me a little bit of it. Matthew, Matthew 9, 21 through 23, and says, For she said within herself, If I may touch his garment, I shall be whole. Uh, so this is what she said in her spirit. Somebody said she talking to herself. Oh, now. Yeah, she talking about talking to herself. I do. I talk to myself and answer too. We have some real good conversations. Me and me. Come on. Me and me have some good conversations. We go at it sometimes too. Hey, I'm just uh, had to put him in check. He be want to do crazy stuff every month. So I be like, come on, dog, you can't do that. Come on back. Y'all don't talk to y'all, sir? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Y'all don't make me feel bad then. King so David we see. To himself. Huh? King David talked to himself. David talked to himself. Yeah, he did. I talked to myself, too. If Saul throwing javelins at me, <laughs> you up there trying to play the, the flute or whatever, and you got to look up and hit him a javelin at you. I talked about, hey, what's up? Cause I've been talking to everybody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, we're not out of place when we talk to ourselves. It's all right. Yeah, right. Amen. They told us we're crazy for years. Well, I'm going to be crazy because I'm going to keep talking and answering. Amen. Amen. I just got to make sure I answer the way Jesus would answer. <laughs> Come on. We're back. So she said within herself, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Come on, watch this. Verse 46. Yes. And Jesus said, somebody has touched me. I perceive that virtue is going out of Ah, what Jesus said, ain't that kind of touch. You don't understand. Somebody really touched me. It, it wasn't a regular kind of touch. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to come back. But come on, read. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, uh -huh. she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Ah, uh -huh, that's why I get that title from share with me. That, that, that's what I'm talking about on verse 47 right there. You see that? You see that? You see that? Look at verse 47. And, and when the woman saw that she was not hid, uh -huh, everybody said, uh -huh, what me and what me? But she came trembling. Yeah. Father now, she, she declared, she said for the people, what cause she had touched him. Watch this. Watch this. For what cause she had touched him. And how she was healed immediately. Watch this. Watch this. For what cause she had touched him. Y'all see that in verse 47? For what cause she had touched him. Watch this. Somebody say it was me. Let me show you where I'm getting this here. If Jesus stepped in today and wanted to know who touched him. You, you see the woman said, I'm going to tell y'all it was me. Now let me tell you why I touched him. She said with them 12 years. She said with them 12 years is why I touched him. I told you something about that 12. It's something about them 12 years. She said, let me explain something to y'all. She said, let me explain what happened. Amen. But before she explained what happened, let me ask you. Has anything happened in your life? Uh, it was 12 years for her, but I don't know how many years it's been now. Uh, but has anything in your life uh, ever brought you to a point uh, where you say, I need Jesus?
Jesus. Uh -huh. I done tried everything else. Uh, ain't nothing working. Uh, this person said they love me. They love what we are. Uh -huh. The doctor told me I'd be healed. Uh, he lied to us. Uh, but is anything uh, brought you to a place in your life uh, when you say, God, it was me? Uh -huh. I'm on the other end now. If you come through it, uh -huh, you can't say it was me uh, till you come through it. Uh, has God brought you through anything? How can you sit down? And I like he ain't brought you to. I had some glory thieves out there. There's some glory thieves out there. I think these are coming up. Uh, the rabbit, the bunny, that made it out with the chicken gonna try to get all the glory. Mm -hmm. Christmas coming. Yeah. The fat fella with the beard got to get all the glory. Mm -hmm. I wanna know. Has any one of your situations, that woman said she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she touched? Mm -hmm. It was me. Oh, it was me touching. It was me. I didn't touch him. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch the hem of his garment. Yes. Somebody said, how you did it, Pastor? Did it. Uh, it was in the spirit. It was an operation in the spirit. Oh, but I touched him. I took the hem of his garment. Uh, I had a cause, uh huh. I had a reason to go looking for him. I had a reason to call him. Is, is anybody getting this? We done got so cute now. I, I said we done got so cute now because God has blessed us. We got a couple dollars. We got money. We got cars. We ain't got to worry about having something to eat, Lisa. We, we look good. We all right now. Somebody said, bless. Blessed, blessed, blessed. That's what we are. We are blessed people. But how can we get a blessed, powerful people? I'm asking y'all, is it any cause? Is it anything that ever happened in your life that's real? That you came to a place where you say, I need Jesus? Ah, and if you ain't never been there, just keep on living. But listen to me. Let me tell it. It was me. Uh, it wasn't just the one with the issue of blood uh, that had a problem. I had a problem. And if I can be honest with you, I still got a few. But I trust him. I trust in God. Yeah, that woman, it was something about them 12 years. She said, let me tell y'all. For what cause I touch him. See, this is where she go back and talk about that 12 years, uh-huh. Now look, skip verse 43. Let me go and preach. Y'all will come on in a minute. And when the woman had an issue of blood, 12 years. Can I tell you something? That's a real 12 years. Uh, can I talk to you? I said that's a real 12 years. Mm -hmm, that's a real 12 years, uh-huh. It's a, it's a real 12 years when you're going through. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever had a bad day and seem like you had a whole bad week? That's 12 years for this woman. That's 12 years. You, 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 can have, you can have a bad couple of days and, and cut the whole week is just messed up. Mm -hmm. This woman had 12 years. 12 years. A the, uh, the, how many? 144 months. 144 months. That woman done been out in it's the 12 years. Yes. It's something about them 12 years that caused her to have a level of faith to drop to trust Jesus Christ. She didn't start there. Mm -hmm. But this is where she ended up. So I want to look at from the start to when she got that immediately, what's happening in there. Mm -hmm. It's something about them 12 years. Uh-huh. The Bible declared, the Bible declared she was unclean. Mm -hmm. That's right. She had to warn everybody where she go. Mm -hmm. She was in testing. It was trials. Mm -hmm. It was testing. Mm -hmm. She was tested by God twelve years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I said to Mister be in testing. She began growing, y'all. I, I remember reading this story or hearing a, a quartet singer sing about Sister Doug. I know y'all have heard about this quartet singer talk about. How the, the, the man animal had got in the bottom of a well. And, and they began to try to bury the animal. And they kept throwing the dirty in. And the animal kept 
pressing the dirt down so long, he was all the way up there. <laughs> oh, come on, y'all already got it on now. Uh, you got to come on out. Don't you stay down. In the midst of your trial, whatever come your way, you keep blessing the Lord. And it's just like you stomping that dirt down. You keep praising him. You keep, I'm telling you, it's something about that 12 years. I want it. Paul said, Paul said, I want to know Christ in the power of his resurrection. He said, I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable to his death. Ain't nobody preaching that in. <clears throat> bless me, bless me. But ain't nobody talking about I want to suffer like Jesus. Ain't nobody talking about I want to go through uh, no, no, no cross. I don't want to go through no embarrassment. I don't want to go through no shame. I don't want to go through nothing. Uh, but I come to tell you this morning, uh, if you don't go through, you don't get through. I'm telling you, uh-huh, there's something about that 12 years, uh-huh. But I know it was me. Uh, I called on him. Uh, I called on him. I still call it on him. Uh-huh. Uh, situations, life itself. Uh-huh. That's true. We so copy that. Nobody can feel nobody no more when they going through. You know, they call fair weather friend, see? A fair weather friend is only your friend when you're on the top. Uh-huh, but when you're on the bottom, it's a select few that'll hear you, uh-huh. It's a select few that'll pray for you. Can I tell you something? In this season we're living in, that select few in has gotten lesser and lesser. Uh -huh. There's less and less people you can trust on. Less and less people you can depend on. Less and less people you can have confidence in. Uh -huh. But it's some about the 12. Let me find that verse I told you. Uh, it, listen to me. Uh, it's something about the twelve. I declare it was me. She said, for what cause she did that? Have you got the cause to praise him? Amen. Amen. We done got so fat and happy, so cocky. I always say, I'm straight out of red, boy. Somebody said, wow, Pastor. Wow. So I never forget where I came from. 11 years old, I started pushing a wheelbarrow of bricks and mortar, making a dollar hour to have some money in my pocket. That's the best move I ever made. Because I learned how to value a dollar. I learned that all my money, all that sweating, we used to sweat till the salt come out on your face. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm black anyway. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it's a good thing. I used to get in the summer when I didn't make it, I I'm a brick mason by trade. So I used to get black and a deep purple. <laughs> yoko, yoko. I love yoko. Ain't no problem. I smiled. Boy, I had pretty white teeth, though. Anyway, that's what got me. That's what got me. I had, I had a friend. <laughs> I'm black and a lot of purple, yellow, but I had some pretty white teeth. Look at my wedding pictures. You see me in that white tux, black and a See the teeth though. That's what got them. Them pretty white teeth. Hey man, keep up your smile, man. Young man, keep your smile fresh. It'll get your mom. Hey man, listen to me. Listen to me. It's something about them 12 years. That's right. It's something about them 12. Amen. Jesus, who touched me? Amen. Who touched me? This ain't a touch. This ain't what I'm hearing. Can I tell you something? It's a different level of praying when you when you're going through. Yes. It's a different level of praying than when you're on the mountain. That's right. Ah, uh, we done got so pretty now. We done got so cocky now. We don't know how real world stuff, uh huh. But 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 she it's something about when it's real. Yes. Mm, we can call it. It ain't like the same prayer you pray. Jesus. She said like you just touch him. She done exhausted everything. Now let me tell you some things that she went through. The trying on her faith, the trials, 
Somebody say you tested me. Tested me. Come on, read. That the trial of your faith. Where is this at? This is First Peter chapter one verses seven through eleven. First Peter chapter what? One. First Peter chapter one verses seven through eleven. Seven through eleven, kind of ish. Come on, read. Okay. <laughs> Come on. That the trial of your faith. That the trial of your faith, watch this. God said, when I try your faith, you need to know it's a big thing. Come on, say it's a big thing. The trial of our faith. Come on, read. I got you. We're recording. I got all that. Come on, read. Being much more precious than of gold. That perish. Stop right there. So she said the trying of our faith is when God tests us. Now when God tests us, that's a trial. The benefit is, why somebody said, why God tested me? So that we can grow up in him. That's just like if you take a child and you never say no to that child. All you do is yeah, 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 to yeah, too. After a while, that baby's going to be out on the floor in Kmart and and ah, Walmart gonna be throwing stuff, gonna be acting a fool. And then the parents be trying, now you know better. No, they don't. No, they don't. They did the same thing at home. That's right. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. And, and then everybody else be looking like, hmm, that's a shame. But you do the same thing. You will spoil your grandkids just as rotten as the other lady. Yeah, will you? Put my foot on their throat. But what I'm saying. A small kid, we can be small Christians too. Amen. We can be small Christians. God has to test us. He has to say no. Can you imagine if God answered every prayer with favor? We do him just like we do each other. All right. I don't need you no more because I catch you on the way down, but I'm going up right now. I'm on that elevation, man. You heard, you heard the term don't burn bridges, eh? That's right. I believe that. Come on, Ray. Okay. Stay with me. Come on. We're right. talking about that trying of your faith. All right. Come on. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Read that whole thing again. I'm trying not to mess you up. Come okay. on. Okay. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, uh -huh. though it be tried with fire, it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So what God is saying here, he, when we going through trial, somebody said my tough time. I've got to go through this in a way that I'm honorable to God. Amen. i got to go through still, still practicing the fruit of the Spirit, right. still love, joy, peace, patience. i got to go through and still get all that. We're going to have a children church. They're going to blow y'all little kids' mind. Don't worry, it's coming. I got a children church. Y'all keep listening to the pastor now. Right. We got junior church coming. I see it. I see it. But anyway, anyway, where was I at? It was on verse 7. Verse 7? Mm-hmm. Come on. The end of it. We're talking about the trying of your faith. Okay, now, we talking about it's something about that 12 years. So during that 12 years, watch this. During that 12 years, she was trying. Mm -hmm. Somebody said trials. trials. Things ain't going well. That's right. Here I got another house. Uh, now the car broke again. Mm -hmm. Didn't we just fix this bathroom? Mm -hmm. Didn't the doctor just tell me I was made wet? Why? All these things come. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. I thought my budget was good. I got insurance. What? $500? Mm -hmm. Where that coming from? Somebody said trials. Trials. That's what life is. That's right. That's what right. Jesus said, look at him. The trials that I'm going to put you to, if you come through trusting me on the back end, you're going to be more precious than gold. Yes. You, What you learn out of that trial, now you know how to trust. I told you something about them 12 years. And we learned the from or not. That's been a long time. We still talking about that woman. We still talking about that woman. What are we talking about? Them 12 years she went through. Mm -hmm. uh, what did she go through? She she went through some embarrassing situations. Write yeah, it down. She went down to some embarrassing situations. God is making her look like gold, but in her flesh, she's looking bad. Come on. Amen. In her flesh, people laughing at her. That's right. In her flesh, people, oh, here she come again. But it's something about that 12 years when you learn how to cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you. When you begin to find ain't no friend like the 
is only Jesus. Uh -huh. When you find yourself uh, all by yourself, uh, when you don't took care of everybody, when you don't been there for everybody, but now you find yourself all by yourself. Some like them 12 years. Yes, Here comes Sebach. Yes, Here comes Sebach. Yes, if it wasn't for the 12 years, she would have never got healed like that. Right. She had to go through. Right. What else she got in them 12 years? She had to get a pride in check. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine? Can you imagine? What about her discouragement? Who got that James? Who got that James? Oh, uh, come on. I need James to tell me how to count it joy. So if you remember, she's embarrassed. She got the year of clean, unclean, unclean. Somebody said in 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. Y'all stay with me. Yes. Come on, Rick. Okay, you gave me James 1, 22. Be doers. Okay, you stay right there. I'm coming with you. Come on. James. You got it, Rick. James 1. Come on. My brother counted all joy when he fall into divers' temptation. Stop right here. So that woman went through some embarrassment. Now, watch this. Somebody said something about that 12. So she got it right. Now, she going through. She going through. She still got that issue of blood. She don't went to this doctor. She don't went to the other doctor. Now, now, now. She going through. She know God tested her. I'm trying my faith. But you get what you do about depression. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hello. What you do about your spirit. Somebody says self-control. Self-control. I'm sick. I don't feel good. I'm spending money and I'm not getting results. Uh -huh. Now you know her joy in the Lord got to be affected. That's right. But that's why James left this record. Come on, read my knees. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. No, go back to count it all joy. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Stop right here. Don't you, somebody said something about the 12 years. Something about the 12 years. She had to be able to count her issue of blood as joy. That's right. It ain't enough to just get through your trial. Right. What about your attitude? Right. Are you making everybody around you miserable just because you're going through? Mm. Misery loves company. Mm. Jesus taught us. He said, when you fast, don't you do like the hypocrites? Don't right. you paint up your face? Don't you do all that again. I believe, I believe we shouldn't always look like what we're going through. Right. Uh, you might be going through some tough times. Uh, somebody said in a secret place. Uh, I challenge you, I'll come on preaching. I challenge you, I challenge you to go through it in a secret place. I promise, I, I challenge you to get that thing to God. Uh, to don't tell me about sometimes I'm too transparent. Uh huh, because everybody ain't spiritual. Hey, Amen. You can't tell everybody everything. They don't understand your level. But you go in the secret place. In the secret place. Mm -hmm. Make your faith. Make up, ladies. You look just as pretty. Be in the bottom of the valley situation. And, and, and I want you, Sister Dawn, to get up and put on your best outfit. You look missed all this stuff. In. And I want you to walk out there in the joy of the Lord. And don't even look like what you're going through. Right. It's something like them 12 years. Yes. She had to do that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Somebody said, I didn't know, Pastor. Because Jesus didn't come to her. She went the way Jesus was. She had to get up. If she yes. couldn't get up, if she couldn't get past that depression, she'll never get out here. Right. She'll have never been there. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, Sister Rissy, she had to say, this ain't working. Well, I'm going to get up. I'm going to see a man. Anybody heard where he at? Tell me where he at. Tell me where he at. He's the only hope. It's something about them 12 years. It's something about that 12. Let's hit one of the obvious ones. Let's hit one of the obvious ones. They're killing everybody. She was out of money, y'all. Yeah. She not only, she not only got to keep the joy of the Lord, she got to fight depression, the doctor, but now money gone. Mm -hmm. You know what the world treat people and who ain't got money like? They treat you like that. <laughs> you got money. You look like money. And your husband got money. So you always got money. <laughs> We all got money. 
But listen to me. We can't escape. Let me teach you something. The Bible declares to not take the blessings of God and test them. Your scripture coming, they say, I feel it. I feel that scripture coming. Don't you the blessings of God. Don't, don't, you don't wait God's blessing by worldly material things. Amen. And people always miss me with this one. Because I got a couple cars. Cars, but I got a couple things. Yeah. From trusting God 43 years and That's trusting Him with my money. So I got a couple things. People always get it twisted. Oh, you got this and that. I think, no. Yeah. I got the things, but the things ain't got me. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The day that the things get me, the things got to go. Got to go. The things are to refresh me to do what I'm doing now to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. But people who think I'm just about the things, they don't miss me. Mm -hmm. Totally. Totally. That's right. Totally. Now watch this. Let me show you how y'all be praying. Come on, Nisha. Give me my verse. This is her verse to Jesus come. Watch this. Proverbs 30, verses 8 and 9. Proverbs 30, 8 and 9. All y'all seeking wealth and riches, ain't nothing wrong with getting some money. But if you're going to be blessed to God for substance, then, then, then be a giver. That's right. To the kingdom. God will give you some money if he can trust you to give. Yeah. Amen. Now watch this. Come on. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Yeah. Or lest I be poor and still and take the name of my God in vain. So the scripture said, God bless me with what's, what's suitable for me. That's right. Everybody can't stand to be rich. That's right. Everybody can't stand to have money. That's why God keeps putting empty holes in your pocket. Because as soon as you get something, you start acting like you don't need God no more. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to cut your blessings off. That's right. Is to get a bite of the apple and act like you don't need God no more. Oh. You'll never see the tree. Mm -hmm. I'm hung on for the tree. I want the whole tree. The I'm going to hang on for the tree. Can I tell you something? Want the I want to go all the way down to the roots. I'm trying to, I got the tree. I want to go all the way down to the roots. I want to go all the way before that tree was even thought of. I yes, want sir. everything come yes, with it. Amen. Oh, I'm greedy. Yeah. For the presence of God. Yeah. I got enough stuff. I'll take some more. But I need his presence. Yeah. I need a demonstration of power. Yes. Hallelujah. Everybody can't have a show. Right. Nope. Are you bold enough to pray God bless me? If too much money gonna make me leave you, I don't want the money. Ain't nobody praying like that. Amen. Give me the money, God, and I'll repent. No. Uh, that's why you can't get it. That's right. Get a made up mind from the top. It's some about these 12 years. Mm -hmm. I can't get past it, Adam. But then you, I can't get them 12 years is what made her. Mm -hmm. The very thing that we won from. The very thing that we despise, the very thing that makes us angry and just it's the very thing that got her an immediate healing. Getting her ready for her blessing. Woo! It's so much a twelve. Jesus. I understand it now. I understand at a 12. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. You can call it my 14. My 14 understand her 12. Amen. She had years. I had days. But I tell you what, I tell God thank you. I tell God thank you anyhow. Oh, come on, y'all ain't ready. I said it's something about them 12 years. It's something about going through. It's something about going through. Uh, I remember, this is me, this ain't first time. I tried to do a second two on the drill field. Wasn't the will of God. God let me get sick, let every day put Satan against me, no matter what I did. God let me fail. Somebody said broken. Broken. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of you got to come here. Listen to me. A lot of you got to come here. 
and I'm trying to prepare you for it. Yeah, for being broken. For being broken. It's something about the 12 years. She was broken. She was broken during that 12 years. All of that pride, if she had it, she had it. All of that testing every day. Them 12 years made her have the level of faith. She chose to have the level of faith that Jesus said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Somebody touched me. This, I got some awards. I, I've been in the Marine Corps 27 and a half years uh, in my office. I got, I got plaques and I got all these fancy awards and stuff that people have wrote about me. Even in combat. Yeah. None of them means anything if Jesus Christ don't say, well done. Amen. If yes. Jesus Christ don't say, come on, my son. Yes. You did a good job. You did it. You preach in the midst of the trials, in the midst of the haters. Yes. You kept preaching. Yes. Nothing else matters yes. to me. Amen. It's something about them 12 years. But I want to tell you this moment. Don't you despise your 12 years. It might not be 12 years for you. It might be a couple days. But make sure you get what God got for you to get. Amen. And I'm going to show you why. Go back to that Luke 8. Give me that, give me that doers on me, ministry lane. James 1, 22. Yes. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own self. See that? You got to walk it out. Yes, sir. She had an issue of blood 12 years. Spent all her living on physicians. She couldn't even be healed. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. Mm -hmm. There ain't no other door. Mm -hmm. There ain't no other way. Mm -hmm. You can try. You can run. But you can't hide. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody but Jesus. Right. You better let your 12 years in one day whatever you're going through. But you want Jesus to send somebody to touch me. Uh -huh, for whatever reason bring you to him. Uh, just make sure you come to him. Hallelujah. And make sure that, that he'll heal you immediately. If you got what you need to get uh, in your trial situation, the Bible declares you like gold. Uh -huh. She has some gold kind of faith. Peter had it to her. He said, Jesus, Lord, save me. And immediately, after he walked on water, Jesus picked him up. Uh, <laughs> Why are you going to go out? Right in the middle of my squall. That's all right. That's all right. It went out right in the middle of my squall. It was still good to me. Was that good to y'all? It's all right. I just stop right there. We bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. And all that is within me. And some about them 12. Amen. Did y'all get it? Yes, I just want you to know. It was me, though. Jesus. It was me, though. It, it wasn't just that woman with the issue of blood. If, 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 if God, if Jesus had to say, come in here today and say, who touched me? Every one of us should stand up. If you've ever been through anything, if you ever got to the end of your rope, and you just couldn't find hope nowhere, Sister Dodd, you didn't know how that thing was going to work out. I always tell a story about my, I couldn't find 15 cents to buy my pregnant wife a banana. Mm -hmm. Now I think I got about six or seven days or so before I left coming in this morning. Somebody said, but God. But God. We got to hang on, young man. Hang on through the chest. Child, hang on. Go back, hang on. Hang on through God. Hang on. But you got to stay in Christ. Amen. Don't give up on Jesus Christ. Y'all know what the hardest thing for me is, is I fail, I mess up, I ain't nobody. I'm somebody in Christ, but I don't want nothing charged to the gospel. I don't, that's why I work so hard as a Marine. I didn't want to be a, a good Christian and a sorry Marine. That go against my testimony. I push myself to be the best Marine possible. Because I wanted to represent Jesus Christ even on my job. That's all right. So it let me, God promoted me for honoring him 
in my worry job. He'll do it for you too. You already know. You already know. How many of y'all remember when Jesus, when God elevated everybody here on Wednesday night? Yes. Come on, come on. Think about it. Think about it. I said everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was coming here on Wednesday night, God elevated every, everybody. And we didn't take not one special offer. Right. Everybody. Didn't he do it? Yes, he did. I'll tell you something. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. You get the nuggets out of that 12. Yes. Something about that 12 years. I feel like I got to preach it again. I won't do it today. But I, we didn't get it all. I got some of it. But it's something about that 12 years. I feel it. it. It's some more about that 12 years that, that'll benefit us because every one of us need that immediate. Amen. Every one of us need God to come through when we need him to come through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Little baby, you might be trying to make it home. Your dollar's a little low and you're looking at that gas prayer. Come on, baby. Come on. Get me on home. Yes, sir. <laughs> did that. Look at you there. <laughs> Call your pastor, though, and mom and daddy you can't get him. I'll come get you. I'll come get you with a gas can in a minute. Y'all yeah, know that, don't you? Oh, yes, we do. That's right. That's right. That's right. In the morning, you get out there, you dance or whatever, you call me. And you ain't got to go through the deacons to do it. You call me. I'll come with a gas can. Two in the morning. And if I don't do it, I'm in the wrong line of work. Amen. 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 The Bible says he that is the greatest among you. Let him be your servant. It's a, indeed an honor and a privilege to sit here and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. You amazing people. I thank God for y'all. Mm -hmm. For sitting here listening at the word of God. Mm -hmm. I promise you it will strengthen you. Mm -hmm. I promise this word will yes, deliver yes. you in the supernatural. Yeah. I promise you, God has shown me personally that he, he's pleased with this preaching that comes out of this church. Amen. This is why I got to do this. God has shown me through miracle manifestation that he's concerned with this word. Amen. I can't tell you no clearer. Live by the word of God. Trust God. Trust him in the supernatural. Trust God to still do miracles. Somebody say immediate. Yeah. God can still do the impossible. I promise you. I promise you. God can still blow your mind. And you ain't got to be no big name. You ain't got to be no great you just got to believe on him. Amen. On that real. On that real. On that real. God, I need you. I believe you. In the house by yourself. Lift your hands up to God and say, God, I need you. By yourself. Young people, by yourself. Next time you're in the bathroom by yourself, call the door. Lift your hands up and say, God, I need you. And watch him blow your mind. Yes, he will. Get it before you get to the whole twelve. Amen. You don't have to lose everything. You ain't got to be strung out on dope. You ain't got to be pregnant. Or you ain't got to, but if you do, he'll still come see about you. Amen. He'll still come see about you. Don't you ever think you're a second-hand Christian. Don't you do it. Don't you let nobody reel you in. You love Jesus Christ. Amen. Point blank period. There's therefore now. Somebody said now. now. No condemnation to them who walk in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yeah, you to call it according to his purpose. Amen. You got to go through things sometimes for his purpose. Amen. You comfort one another with the comfort whereby we ourselves are confident of God. Amen. I thank God for every one of you. Yeah. Can I tell you something?
Something about them 12 years, ain't it? Okay, then y'all want what they want. Y'all don't watch out now. That's a long time. 12 years. 12 years is a long time. But I want you to leave here saying whatever it takes. God, I want your glory. Get this. I'm close. I want to be to that point where my faith level will spark Jesus to say, somebody touch me. Amen. You imagine, can you imagine how many prayer requests coming to God for a new car? New house. Mm-hmm. You know, that thing you want. I wonder what the prayer line like for God. I just want your presence. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, I want a demonstration of your power. Yeah. God, I want to preach your word yeah. on stuff I ain't even heard and study uh-huh. in the midst of talking. I want you, God, to talk through me to the people on stuff I can't even think fast enough yeah. to come out of my mind. Yeah. Ain't no long lines for that. Ain't no long lines for that. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to get ahead of the lines. I'm in that line. Yeah, get ahead of the lines. Mm-hmm. Begin to want stuff from God. Yeah. Begin to want God's things of the kingdom. Amen. Uh, somebody said, what you want, Pastor? Yeah. What you want, Pastor? So, come on, somebody said, what you want, Pastor? What you want, Pastor? Yeah. I want to make, uh, uh, I want the manifestation of the power. I want, I want the manifestation. Oh yeah, I'm on something else. I want the demonstration of power. Believe me, I, I want God's demonstration of power. Not for me. Not for my big head. None of that. I want the demonstration of power of God to fall in this house. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And he going to fall. Well, listen, we wanted, we just wanted you to come on and uh, share with everybody what your experience has been like being with being with uh with TV. Okay. Go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm gonna let you start off. Ah, uh, I guess it's just been an adjustment. Let me say that because <laughs> I I am most definitely not the talker in this relationship, as we all know. <laughs> <laughs> But I will say that it has been exciting and we've been looking forward to it. Um, we paused and waited for a while before we agreed, but mm-hmm. yet it's still, we're still learning and we're still getting used to things. As you know, we just came on this year, but we're excited about what we're doing for the body of Christ. Let me say yeah. that. Yeah. 